Now, you have to analyze the same five steps. Rhythm, heart rate, PR interval, QRS, and identify if there's a P for every QRS. Well, number one, let's identify if this is a regular rhythm. We can see we have two big squares and a small square here on the first R to R interval. From the second R to R interval to the third, we have two big squares and a little bit more than one. So the same. From the third to the fourth, we have two big squares. And looks like one and a half small box, about the same, and so on. So this is a regular rhythm. What is the heart rate? Anybody can tell me the heart rate? What is the heart rate here? I told you it's a quiz session, so you have to answer. You have to analyze. I'm not going to be just regurgitating information today. You're going to be analyzing, thinking. Let's put everything you've been learning in this three days to practice. Okay, so the heart rate is about 130 beats per minute. Okay. The PR interval is normal, and the QRS is normal, and there's a P for every QRS. So we have one P and one QRS. We have one P and one QRS because this one here that you're looking at here, this is the T wave, not another P. The reason I'm saying this is because I noticed that some of you analyze this as atrial flutter. Remember that in both atrial flutter and atrial fibrillation, the confirmation is that you need to see multiple P waves. There are no multiple P waves here, only one P wave and a QRS complex. So this cannot be atrial flutter. Cannot be atrial flutter. Cannot be ventricular tachycardia because ventricular tachycardia doesn't look like that. We're going to see that in another day. So we have left either sinus tachycardia or supraventricular tachycardia. What is the answer? So we have a regular rhythm. We have a high heart rate, 130 beats per minute. PR interval is normal. QRS is normal. There's a P for every QRS. Now, the rhythm, although it's regular, and the heart rate, although it's high, is not as high as is seen in supraventricular tachycardia. In SVT, the heart rate is so fast that many times it hides the P wave is so fast that most times you see like the QRS, like a, a T wave, a big T wave and a QRS. It doesn't mean that there is no P wave in supraventricular tachycardia, there is, but it's so fast that sometimes it's hidden. This is not supraventricular tachycardia because the heart rate is not as elevated. The answer is sinus tachycardia. 